Welcome to KSM Adventures of an Arcane Mage here on Lord TV TV Plays. In this video series, we will be following Petey as he tries to learn how to play Arcane Mage while getting Keystone Master. See all of our restrictive rules on Discord. Please note that throughout the video, non-boss combat is double speed. And if you have any questions or comments, please place them below. Please hit that follow button to see more content from Lord PDTV throughout the week. So this is week 18 of our KSM adventure, and what can I say? This week was a real learning week for me from trying to get everything kind of together to the point of, you know, trying to get my DPS down and trying to figure out where I should and shouldn't be properly, you know, AOEing and DPSing. And I really, really did learn a lot. On top of that, the Incorporals really made me pay attention to not only what I was dealing with, but also, uh, you know, dealing with them and dealing with with the ads at the same time. You jump on any of the theories of Marek. Isn't that the dude that um, had the, the black face mask on? Well, Ahsoka, like, slashed him last, uh, last uh, episode. Um, I don't think it's like Ezra or something like that. I think it's... This boss is always, you know, from the other I feel like it's kind of like a gimme because it's just, it's so easy to deal with. You know, we deal with the double lust, we kind of just go for it and we just lay into him. Now, or I should say my lust, I should say, because we lost it on pull, but I ended up arcane explosioning. I ended up putting my dots out and I kind of just push as hard as I can. And, you know, we didn't do a crazy amount of damage on pull, but on top of that, we did way more than we have in the past, which, which felt good. But we ended up DPSing him down, kind of kept ourselves spread out. We dealt with it. I didn't really burn through my mana like I you would think I would, but we ended up getting him good, and it was it felt good. And I, and I finished pretty close to the top, if I remember. But I think it's something to do with the essence spark from in between. I don't think so. See, like, I feel like there's something going on with that whole thing. But I think that it's definitely going to be something we weren't expecting. That it's. I don't think it's gonna be. Ezra. Have you seen Lord PD TV wearing the these the amazing course. gamer glasses? These glasses are from Sub2R. You, you, you go the to the day. description and you click on their link. So you know and if you want to purchase them, the use Lord PD TV at checkout, 10% off. What do you what do you think it is? I don't think it is. You wait till it's still for Star Killer? I mean, they might make him some type of a Padawan or Jedi or something because apparently he's really he really knows the the, the like the story of everything really, really well. I mean, he's he's equivalent to you know one of the large fan base characters. Not, I mean, he has been in a room with people, with people saying, "Oh no, you can't do this. Oh no, you can't do that." Because there's like a big video of him on. Um, on like Instagram saying like people asked him about certain things and he like and he was like no and they were like how dare you like essentially out nerd uh, Dave so um there's been certain situations where I think 
that him being in the credits is more than, you know, we know. The Council of Captains, we had a little bit of a situation. Like, we really, we pulled the, you know, the two regular guys. We, we you know, did whatever we could do. I made sure I used my personal lust, and I kind of just laid in. Now, the thing that's kind of interesting is, and you'll see it, is that we kind of had to deal with uh, more, like, our location of movement and everything going on. But I really did lay in and really, you know, put a beating on this guy. The... Pally that was in the group died early, as you saw, and I don't remember if he got rezzed or not, um, but I, I ended up, you know, just pulling out 100k uh, DPS on that, which, which felt good for me. The Warlock was doing pretty good with the banishes throughout the whole entire fight, and we ended up, you know, making sure we didn't have any problems. We got the boss down, uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, this time, and, uh, you know, it felt good, so it was good. I gotta actually focus since we lost somebody here. One moment, please. I don't know. I don't know if that would even be a thing because he always said he didn't want to support the channel. Go to teespring.com. Click on the link in the description and go ahead and take a look at that really really nice merchandise. Pick it up to help support the channel. Don't mind the stream here. Because this isn't technically me. I'm trying to remember if it's after. When is, what time frame is it? It's the same time frame as Mando. Right, but is that is when is that? Is that before or after Jedi? You think so yeah, you think it's between three and four. So Vader's dead? No. So Because I'm trying to think for a second here, Doc, about it. Now, see, Chancey's saying it's after Return of the Jedi. Because Thrawn is gone. And I thought Thrawn was only gone after Vader was gone. I'm ready, yes. Oh, 
Hold on, I gotta double check this. Cause I think, I think yeah. What is the time limit for? Just a reminder, Lord PD TV can be used at Rogue Energy Drink to have a discount to support the channel. Links in the description. You know, uh, the, the Shark Puncher dude, he, you know, a lot of people have just been pulling lots of ads on top of him while we're DPSing him. And, you know, that's perfectly fine because he really doesn't cause that much of a problem as long as you, you know, have some type of control. But as for me, I yes. mean, my DPS so, kind of started low, and it's just going to end, you know, my still thought low, my two which was kind of sad for right? me, but it is what it is, I mean, and we were gonna, able to kind of work talk through about it, and the, um, I, I kind of the, noticed the, last episode, if you the sooner I start my rotation before we actually pull the boss, the better my DPS does, so that is something I'm going to try to make sure I continue to do for at least uh, this week and whatever weeks I have going forward. All right, well, thank you for the invite, Twist. Yeah. Y'all have a good So, one. at the end of the last episode, you see her talking. You see Ahsoka talking to Vader. So, Vader would be dead. Well, you know, in 10 2, you can just go run a Mythic Zero and get something. That's right, I've Which is weird, because apparently, so like, doing Heroics will now get you a vault, doing Mythic Zeros will now get you a vault, but in or it's it's not going to make you do dungeons from the current Mythic Plus rotation, but it's going to give you rewards from the current Mythic Plus rotation. Oh, you're wrong. That makes sense. Which is weird. It's after the events of the turn of Jedi. Oh, okay. Which is after 6, which makes logical sense. It's right after the Battle of Yemen. So yeah, Vader's dead, so... I mean, Starkiller wouldn't be around. We brought the conversation of who do we think um, that dude is. The, the, dude in the, mask? the dude in the mask. Uh, I don't know. The dude in the mask is gonna come back. Right. That's what I was saying. I, I don't. I don't think it's anything. It might be some type of astral projection if she was a night sister. Okay, well, because they, they've been known to be a thing. I did. I did see some speculation for her. For me, because <laughs> like yeah, is really turned into playing a tank, you have to play a caster. Opinion, but what I will say is that like as long Ash as being a healer, she would have to be a up tank. on the boss. Like you know, we end up you know doing our proper lust. Oh. We end up doing we're everything not, that we like, do. Not, put my arcane surge up and kind of pop everything that I can do. And I just kind of hope to to do as much damage as I can in that touch of magi window. Now that's the only thing I can really do now, and and kind of hope that we end up you know, doing that damage. I have to make sure I drop an arcane barrage at the end, right before Touch of Magic comes off, 
or it's almost going to be like a useless uh, so, thing. So um, that's something that I have to make sure me now. Now the other doing, thing is, is that we really had to I'm deal doing, with. It would have to be you know having alive. the ad behind us because we really didn't have that many. CCs I said that for trouble because I know he wanted to hear it. So it was something that myself and the other guy was working on pretty good to uh, hold so on what to. What the opposite for me was be trying to die. What class? What class um. do you do you not normally play? Like actually play play. Actually play play. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Because that's what you would. That's what you would play. So like I don't. I know you've probably leveled a warlock, but I've never seen you play a warlock. Uh, I mean, I played a warlock before. I've never um. made a warlock. My warlock has always been a project. And it's been every spec, and it's always been a project. Hold on, let me finish this boss. Like he, I, I did the green fire quest on my warlock, and then went to play. Uh, I just want to say thanks again, everybody, for checking out our videos, and we're going to be putting out as many of them throughout the whole entire week. Uh, at least four dungeons are going to be mages. Uh, I should say four videos are going to be of the mage each week. And then we'll have, you know, our regular uh, affix videos. And we're going to have other videos, too, every single week. So thank you very much for hanging out. I greatly appreciate you all for spending the time here. And I will see you all soon. Thank you, and I hope to see you all soon in chat. Bye, everybody.